Hi, uh, so in today's tutorial, we are gonna create an HTML and host it on Cloudflare pages. Uh, we would also create a Cloudflare workers, which would be called when we submit the form, the form through the Cloudflare pages and a KV storage to actually store those values. So this key value storage, which also be on the Cloudflare. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is uh, just search for Cloudflare workers and create an account if you don't have already. If you do, then just log in into Cloudflare account, then come back to your machine. And uh, I have created a repository uh, YouTube Cloudflare pages. So create a repository for your project and let's do get in it. And then I'll open the code. So currently it's an empty repository. So to get started, let's create a page folder called pages and create index.html in here. Uh, let's also create some HTML and let's create an h2 hello world. Now, since this has been created, let's go to our GitHub. Uh, let's push create a new repository. So I'm going to create under my account called YouTube Cloudflare page. It's available. I'll keep it private for now and create repository. So once the repository has been created, just copy these commands. So I have done the uh, let's do the commit command. Get add get commit hyphen m in it so it created our first commit for this repository after that just let's also make a instead of master let's use main as our uh, primary branch and uh, add remote and then push so code should be pushed by now and if i refresh the code has been pushed and it's here so we have got pages and in the index html just a heading saying hello world let's come back to our cloudflare account and in here now create go to workers and pages and under overview create application so under create application pages then connect to get um, I found this the best you, if you connect to get so whenever you push it will actually create a new version of the website So I created YouTube Cloudflare so it will show all your apps or else it will ask you to go to the OAuth flow do that and then it will show all your uh, Repositories that you can see so I created this one. Let's select this one and begin setup So it's using this the production branch is main uh, No framework no build command our uh, so uh, if you look at the project we used pages to keep the index html so let's give our build directory as pages and then save and deploy once you've selected that it started the process to deploy and uh, it's pretty good it shows live uh, logs to see the progress uh, which you can follow up so Yeah, the site has been deployed here now uh, so currently we get a dns error that it's not available uh, that's okay let's wait for a few more minutes uh, because uh, it takes time to actually uh, send it across to all dns servers update the dns record with the new service so let's wait a minute Cool. so the website is up now so we can see hello world on our domain um, so we have got it working now let's look at calling uh, creating the form and collecting user data from the form so let's go here and create a form i'll fill the action in a second let's first create the input user name one sorry input type text and i'll keep the name as username one uh, i'm not giving it username uh, or else uh, it will start showing the uh, pre-filled values from the other website which would just add distraction so 
I'll just do email to and also add a submit button so input submit and let's give it the value submit now um, the important part how to submit the form so for that we need to come to our project directory again and create a folder called functions and within functions create another folder called api and now within api create a file by the name of the api that you want to call so for example in here we want to call register user.js and uh, cloudflare uh, the for your api you need to export this uh, on on request post method to actually receive the post request and uh, from here let's just return new response hello from the worker so expectation is when we will the form gets submitted it will come to the worker and worker would return this so browser will just re render this text let's come back here and now in form let's call slash api slash register user so now it will call our api and let's make it post so now once it's saved uh, let's push our code to github so The code has been pushed so let's come back to our cloudflare so we can see a new deployment has been started so when we connect our github repository there's a webhook attached that when it listens for on push on the main branch and it will build as soon as we push so if we come back here and look so it's already successful uh, let's go to our website so we have got the website here and let's say for username i've given user and for email let's give abc at abc.com let's do submit so you can see we got hello from the worker so we have got this flow set up uh, but what we really want to do is uh, when user submits the form this form we want to capture these values and store it somewhere so that we can refer it back so for that we can come back to our method here uh, in context we can actually grab the uh, form data so for that let's do constant uh, form data equals context dot request dot uh, form data so uh, it will actually return the form data object so we need to get values from there so we can do constant username equals form data dot get let me just see the name was username one and constant email is form data dot get email to um, just for sanity check that everything's working let's do let's return these values so let's do username and email so these will be returned as a response from the worker so let's go ahead and deploy our code get add get commit capture form data and get push let's come back here and go to our things and we can see a new deployment has started so this one contains our changes um, let's wait a minute by the way for every build it gives a unique url uh, with a hash but the actual one stays the same so uh okay i've been on the unique url but yeah there's an act just a url for the project also so let's give user again and abc at abc.com and submit 
okay something went wrong uh, let's see what went wrong so to do that uh, let's come to functions and go back here and begin log stream so it will capture the errors and also all the console logs which we don't have any right now but it will capture all the error thrown also so let's refresh user abc submit come back here form data dot get is not a function so let's see what's wrong here ah the mistake is this is a promise so we need an await here let's just amend this change we have amended this change and now let's do post push now once this has been pushed let's come oh let's also stop the stream from the previous one come back here and you can see the new deploy has started so the new deploy is done which is cool let's go back to this one and close the old one so in here let's again give user an abc at abc so let's submit uh, now we can see the user data being collected the form data being collected but right now it's just there like you cannot really distribute this app around and collect user data since we don't have storage so now let's create storage uh, come back to cloudflare go back here and kv so kv is key value store and uh, let's create a new namespace so i'll create a youtube cloudflare example and add so this particular ha video has been added uh kv store has been added now i'll now i'll connect this to our project so to do that go to view details uh, uh it went to the details of the deployment sorry it was come here to the overview of the project and then settings and within settings we have got functions so functions are the workers which we're going to do and come back here kv name binding so let's add a new binding so let's call it uh, um, anything like uh, user data store so this is what will be ex uh, available as an environment variable in our function to use to access the database so access the store so this was the one we selected let's also copy this and save so this was for production let's also add to the preview um, we've been running previews few times so let's save it now once it is saved we can go back to our code and now in our code we need to do context dot environment and dot the variable we used now this has got a method put to put the values and get to get the values so in this one we'll just do put example and again it's an async call so let's do await so this looks good we have got this now let's uh get add and get commit added kv storage get push come back here and so it has started new deploy let's follow for this one so it's done let's go to the website let's also enter the values again and submit okay so there's an error here something went wrong let's go again and uh, look at logs so let's stream the logs go back here and submit again so we can see the log here refresher user is not defined hmm. ah so it was supposed to be username sorry about that supposed to be username let's amend this commit
and force push. So when, when I'm like working on my branch, obviously not on main, and I fix a error which was made like a typo or something, rather than pushing a new commit, we can always make it easy and just amend the previous commit. And obviously like when you amend the commit, you change the hist git history. So you need to force push. So let's go back to the new deployment now and give it user ABC submit. So looks successful. It happened. Let's go to KV store and make sure it happened. So KV store and this example one is the one we created. So let's view. Voila. So we have got it here. Uh, just to make sure it's not smoking mirrors and try it again. So I'll give user one, two, three and ABC one, two, three summit. Come back here and just refresh the page. So we have got the user details here. Uh, I, this is, this is a really good, if you want to really quickly mock up something and get uh, some kind of input from your users so the way i'm using it is um i've got i built this website on the same cloudflare pages so uh it's an app which i'm building but i'm at a uh, inflection point where i want to like gather more interest to see if people really need it and i'm not just building a solution looking for a problem so i have mentioned the features of my site and ask them to enter email and what else they might look for out of beta so just getting this interest and submit so once they submit my their details and the answer they submit come into our key value store which i can refer later to improve our app so yeah this is uh, all i wanted to cover in this video uh, please let me know in comments if you have any questions or any doubts and